Hello my loves, it's Kemi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today it's Monday, we're testing out new makeup. I really shouldn't put on any makeup right now because the UK weather, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. We're in September and it is boiling outside, okay? So if you guys see my wig shifting here and there, that is the reason why, okay? I really don't like wearing wigs when it's hot outside because it don't be staying on my head top. Excuse the lace. If you're from your ears and you're like, girl, just turn in your aircon. We don't have that, okay? We don't have inbuilt aircon in our houses over here. We got radiators and heaters because it gets cold. <laughs> but aircons, no. <laughs> Today's video, we're gonna be trying out a new foundation. This foundation has been out for a while, but I just recently got it. So the foundation we'll be trying out today is the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I didn't really hear much about this foundation. I knew when it came out, I just didn't have the urge to purchase it then. But whilst I was out for, why not get it? Let's just see what it's all about. The one thing I must say, the shade range on here is horrific. Absolutely horrific. Well, <laughs> If you're deeper skin tones, it's horrific. If you're like lighter skin tone, you have multiple options. But if you're like, you know, the deep dark category, there ain't much options for us, okay? The foundation comes in 32 shades, and I will say personally, only four of the shades cater to like deep complexion. If you're stretching it, we can say maybe five or six, but that's really, really stretching it. But in my personal humble opinion, I would say it's only four shades that cater to deeper complexion. Again, it's 2023. I don't know why shade is still a topic, but at this point, I'm getting sick and tired of saying it like over and over again about brands not including us. At this point, I might just do a video of like calling out brands. <laughs> because it's getting ridiculous like we're in 2023 2024 soon touch and we are still talking about shade ranges it doesn't make sense but you know what let's let's get into this foundation let's see if there's any good let's see if it's worth the money that my boyfriend paid for it because i didn't pay for this <laughs> you guys already know the drill first i'm gonna go in and prime the skin because of course i like to give whatever products i'm reviewing a fair try so i did it the routine that i would normally do on a normal day just so that way i know if the foundation is gonna work with my regular products so starting off i'm gonna use the laura mercier pure canvas primers i'm thinking because it's laura mercier let me use the laura mercier primer as well give it a better chance hopefully we're gonna be using the blurring one and the perfecter one i'm gonna apply the perfecter one all over my face and then when i apply the blurring one on the areas where my pauses are large this also gives like a semi finish to the skin as well yeah so starting off with the perfecter one this is more like a moisturizer and the good thing is that i actually do like these primers as well they work well with so many of my complexion products so i do like it now going in with the blurring one Ooh, i'm just gonna apply it just around my cheeks area that's where my pores are a little bit larger some days i do put this under my face okay you guys see that you can instantly see that blurring effect it has you guys can see what i mean by that it mattifies a little bit of that shine on my face okay so you guys know that i normally go in and color correct to my under eye and around my mouth area i'm not gonna do that today because i really want to see the coverage on this foundation it does claim to be a medium coverage so we're gonna see how medium it truly is just a little claim on the foundation from the packaging this long wearing foundation blurs the line between makeup and skin to reveal a healthy looking complexion the skin loving formula provides perfect and medium buildable coverage so weightless you'll forget you are wearing anything at all it also claims to be suitable for all skin types as well including sensitive skin let's put it on let's see this is what she looks like very cute packaging i love the frost glass of it i love the sleekness of it like it's just given luxury which it should be because it cost a good 38 pounds so the packaging best be cute i did pick this up in person so hopefully the shade works well for me that and the lighting in there didn't like mess me up yeah that is like a good shade it is a little bit liquidy it's not as liquid as like a serum foundation but you can you can definitely see like it's running the color looks rich so hopefully it's a good match let's apply this on By the way, the shade I got is 6N1 Clove. You guys know that I love me a good neutral foundation. Let's just blend that out. Okay, first impression, it definitely has coverage. It's looking good. I do feel like it's a tad, it's a tad bit dark for my complexion, but the finish of it is flawless. I'm not gonna lie, I lakey hate that I like this because of the shade range. As I'm putting this on right now, 
This foundation feels like absolute nothing on the skin. This is a true weightless foundation. It's blending out so smoothly on the skin. Even though like, like I mentioned that like it is hot outside, I don't feel like there's anything on my face. Now that I have the foundation on my face, yes, the shade is dark for me. I'm not mad at shade because I can work with it. I'd rather go dark than light anyway. But in terms of the foundation, I am loving the finish of this foundation. It makes me sick. <laughs> I really do like it. It's actually annoying because the shade range is so crap. Oh, Laura Mercier, yeah, Miss Laura. Why well, have you done this? Because damn, I really like this. But I'm gonna need more shades, Miss Laura. I'm gonna need more shades, okay? Stop depriving the dark skinned girls of the good stuff like this. It's beautiful. But not everyone can experience this. Why have you done that? Because since they hit my room is way too much, I'm gonna go finish off my makeup. I might do a voiceover because I need to put on the fan because I am finna pass out if I don't put on a fan right now. My wig is shifting and sliding. It's all a goddamn mess. Let me go finish off this makeup so I can finish off this video, okay? All right, cousin, so this is the finished result. I must say, I don't think I'm having a good makeup day. I'm not loving the way my makeup is looking right now, but that does not take away from the foundation. The foundation itself is actually really nice. I love the finish of the foundation, especially when I added my powder on top. It just looked flawless. I don't know what happened from there to now. I'm just not loving the way my face is setting. It definitely holds in the claims of it feeling lightweight on the skin, it having that skin like finished. I am gonna use this foundation again with like me color correcting around my mouth area because I feel like around my mouth area is quite dark. That is not fault of the foundation. Just something I usually do but I just didn't do it in today's video because I really wanted to see the coverage on the foundation. I don't feel like my lip product is tiny with the eyes. It's just looking all over the place today, okay? I actually did enjoy this foundation. I do wish they had more shades because buying two foundations just to mix it's gonna cost you around like eight pounds and I just don't think it's worth that. Regardless, it is a good foundation. I will wear it more maybe when the weather you know tones down the heat a little bit to be fair it is holding up to this humidity that's in my room right now because it is hot outside i got my lights on it is hot in my room there's no air my laptop's overheating right now my hair because it's wet is dripping don't love my makeup my lips is tingling because i used the Too Faced lip injection there's a lot going on okay i actually think i prefer this foundation more than the ultra long wear flawless foundation you guys know how much i really like this but i think i prefer the finish of this one because when i say like a product is lightweight this is it like she is so light on the skin and the finish of it just looks like skin as well i do appreciate the fact that it says that it's only going to be 12 hours let's do some flash photography the other products that i use like the concealer setting powder are products that i use on my regular basis and i know that they work amazing for me and they don't give me flashbacks so i'll be really be able to see if the foundation does Oh, I don't love it. My makeup just looks awful. I don't know why. It doesn't look clean. It doesn't look flawless. This is not the makeup that I like. I like my makeup to like look airbrushed, but right now it doesn't have that feel to it. It doesn't have that pizzazz. I don't know. I don't like it. I'm gonna try the foundation out again just to see if it's actually the foundation or maybe I'm just having a bad day. Cause that could happen, you know? The certain days that you can use the exact same products, but your makeup just doesn't come out the way it usually does. That is just life. Not all days can be shiny. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's a short one, but your girl needs to breathe. Your girl does not want to pass out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and inshallah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye cousins. Mwah.